Hey guys, how's it going? We have one topic for you today. We will go over the current light curve of Tabby Star using Bruce Gary's latest measurements and show that the flux is certainly dimming once again and picking up steam downwards. For a quick reference, this is a 20 data point simple moving average light curve of Tabby Star taken in the V-band, which spans over the last two years and shows a 4.1% dimming of Tabby Star, followed by an abrupt brightening that started on September 14th, 2017, and it achieved an approximate 1.13% reversal before starting to dim once again. Since we only have received one V-band measurement since our last update, we are going to once again use Bruce Gary's G-band measurements to look more closely at the brightening period highlighted in the red box. So let's zoom in and construct a 20 data point simple moving average of Bruce Gary's data. His data is represented by the accumulating circles that you see here. The neat thing about the 20 data point simple moving average is that you get to see the shape of the long term trend of Tabby Star. None of this guessing on what the shape looks like. It takes out the variability of the individual measurements. So once we have accumulated 20 data points from Bruce Gary, we started calculating and displaying the 20 data point simple moving average represented by the light blue circles with the red borders. As you can see, it is tracing out a curve that was brightening quickly initially, then it slowed for a short period of time, and finally rolled over to where it is now heading back in and dimming once again. As you notice, the last three measurements are significantly below the average. We believe the flux trend has definitely reversed from its previous brightening event. There is no doubt about that. So the best fit curve for our 20 data point simple moving average is shown here. The shape of this trend line curve looks very similar to that of a Gaussian curve. If you superimpose this trend line on the shape of an actual Gaussian curve, you get this fit. So if this curve truly follows a Gaussian shape, we estimate that the flux of Tabby Star will return back to its previous magnitude that it had just prior to the brightening event. And the time that the brightening will completely evaporate would be sometime late January or perhaps early February. And from that point on, it's anyone's guess where it will go. This channel strongly believes it will continue its long-term, century-long dimming trend. This brightening event was perhaps a short reprieve in this constant dimming bias of Tabby Star. If this uh, brightening was caused by the reflection of something coming from behind Tabby Star, it's really, really huge. Well, guys, we will keep tracking the flux of this strange star, and we will see you in our next video. Take care, guys.